Hey folks, Josh Krajewski from Industrial Logic. I want to talk today about healthy stress and bad stress. Um, do you ever get stressed out? And can you see the difference between when it's healthy stress or in, in very negative stress? Um, it's pretty easy, I think, to think about the negative stress, right? You feel horrible. Um, you're just down. You are pressured. You're not feeling at all good. Whereas the healthy stress is a little different. I remember when I was a kid, I'd, I'd participate in piano recitals. And uh, sure enough, I'd be, you know, at the recital at my teacher's house with all the other students there. And maybe there was this girl I liked and she was going to see me and I didn't, I needed to not screw up and my hands were sweaty. And I was like, oh my God, I'm about to perform. Well, you know, in a way that was healthy stress. And um, when I got through it, I was proud of myself. Even if I messed up a little bit, I still, I did it. That to me was a good kind of stress. And if you get comfortable with that kind of stress, you know, you're going to get used to pushing yourself a little further and it's okay. Healthy stress. Bad stress though, as we know, can really disable us. It can make us physically sick. It can make us depressed. It can make us very low performing. And a steady diet of bad stress is super bad. So when we're really good at lean and agile, we are getting rid of bad stress. People say to me, what, what metrics should we look at? Well, bad stress is one of those. How much of bad stress is going away? How much are you enjoying coming to work and having a joyful time at work? That would be a good indicator of success, right? So it's not that all stress is bad. Let's remember, right? There's good and bad stress. Focus on the good stress, the stuff that's pushing you out of your limits. It's uh, maybe inspiring you to do something awesome for the customer by challenging you deeply, right? That could be very healthy for you and do everything you can to avoid the bad stress.